whole Brit culture, um, you can say, had a lot of um, influence, um, not only on my life, but in terms of my design. Hong Kong designer Joanna Ho is no stranger to Western influence. Having lived in England for a long time, lived there for about 12 years, went to school there, and then went to art school, went to design school. I would say a lot of that kind of art culture, pop music, and the love of vintage definitely has a lot of to do with who I am. The major break for the Central St. Martin graduate came in 2004, when Japanese fashion firm Sanyo Shokai signed on her label as part of its brand portfolio. I was um, handpicked by them and then I was shipped off to Japan for the next five years, in which they opened Joanna Ho shops for me everywhere in Japan and really supported me and gave me a lot of uh, not only shops but PR and press and marketing. But they wanted to change their business strategy to which it was not really my cup of tea. So we amicably separated. That's when I really decided to look at, well, re-examine my whole structure and my whole philosophy of how I want my business to run. In 2009, Joanna relaunched Hong Kong label online and started her own fashion blog. That really helps not in terms of my business, but in terms of letting people know more about who I am. And when people know who I am, they can relate more and then they tend to click on to my work and my website a lot more. It really opened a lot of doors for me. I was reaching to places I never even imagined that I could sell to without having to lug a suitcase, which I was, so I did, like back 10 years ago. The downside of having e-commerce is people can't really touch and feel. They can't try on the goods. So having a store, it definitely fills in all that gap. In May, Joanna opened her first retail outlet in the heart of shopping district, Chim Sa Choi. Ever since opening my shop in Chim Sa Choi, it got some clients, internet clients, shifted to my shop, but still a growing number coming from Hong Kong for my e-shop. And a lot of working women, especially like me, the only time we have left is late at night. As her design interest extends beyond garments, Joanna has collaborated on a number of crossover projects with well-known brands, including Birkenstocks and handbag maker Matahari. I think um, being a designer, to be inspired all the time, it's definitely not an easy thing. Having people inspiring each other, it's a very important thing for us designers. So naturally, you see even big brands now, they collaborate with a lot of artists, musicians and all that. And I think that not only because the consumer always wants something fresh out of the brand, but it also gives a different angle to a brand. But another project even closer to her heart is the drive to make her business environmentally sustainable. It was really all inspired by my two kids because after giving birth to priority changes, it's all about the next generation and the generations to come. Because while I do knitwear, I have to use a lot of yarns, different kinds of fabrics that can be turned into yarns. So in that sense, I strive to find different techniques. For example, zero wastage, which is what, um, for example, this jumper is about. I actually cut up fabrics of tool and then I make, you know, it's, it's a continuous line of tool and then I turn it into yarn and then I knit it. In that sense, you're really not wasting any fabric. Joanna also sources yarn from Yak in China. What's great about these cows is like you don't even have to shear them. Their, their fur naturally drop to the ground. I feel that not only that I'm using something that is 100% natural um, and that is not, you know, wasting a lot of energy. You really think about what one can do to simply help not just yourself but other people to have a better life. Joanna will be part of this year's high power lineup of internationally acclaimed designers at the HKTDC Hong Kong Fashion Extravaganza. I'll be featuring mainly knitwear because that's my strength. They're also inviting other international brands. It's giving people a more kind of cosmopolitan, which is Hong Kong is about. It's very exciting to be showcasing together with people that are highly recognized in the fashion industry.